Pep, can you give us an update on John Stone's fitness? Ninja. <laughs> How far off is he from returning? He will be back when he will be ready. Is it a hamstring injury? Yeah. And Laporte, how close is he to coming back? He's training really well. He's training uh, well alone these uh, days because everyone was in the national team. But uh, yesterday, today, tomorrow, he feels good. It's an opposition manager you know quite well this weekend. You, what are you expecting from Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United from what you've seen so far of him? Always I expect in front of the opponents we're going to face, always expect the best. The quality they have is no doubt about that for many years. Uh, and they come with a very good results, a tough sides, because winning in, in Southampton always not easy, but especially Liverpool and Arsenal home. So, and yeah, good momentum for them. Just behind. What's the lines? Huh? Hi, Pep. Yeah. Um, your physio, Mario Pafundi, joined the Norwegian national team uh, the last two weeks uh, to take care of Erling. Can you tell us more about the background for that decision? Because it's a bit rare to see someone working with both a club and the national team. No, it's not weird. When it's an event like European Cups or World Cups, many physios go with the players. Uh, not for the case of Mario, that's an exceptional physio. So, uh, always I said to the club, the most important department the most important department in the backroom staff, everyone is important, but especially the most important one is the physios. They take care of the legs and and Erling last season struggled a lot in Dortmund because he was mostly all all year uh, injured and arrived here with uh, a little bit problems after a small surgery in summertime. And I started to work with Mario, with Federico, with other guys and uh and thanks to them, of course, his work ethic and the rest, and uh, he can play regularly. Well, last season was not possible. It is thank you for the, of course, Erling to it by the hands and the treatments of the guys. So uh, the clubs uh, uh, earn a lot of money when the players can play, and most of the time it's thanks to the physios. So that's why, like Mario Erling knows each other and ask him to go to national team and. And they did it. He was very thankful of the club because he said thanks because they've, I mean, the club has basically made him be able to play many more games than he used to do. He's played every game this season. He played two times 90 minutes this international break. Do, do you have any thoughts on what, what the issue was or what you've done differently than? No, you have to ask to Mario. I'm not fishy. I don't know what they do. What they, what they do is try to make the place available, and not just Mario, all of them. So it's so important the way they work. We have an incredible talent, guys, and that will help the players to be fit. Otherwise, they could not play, and it will be not sense. Pep, um, if I'm not mistaken, you're going to have to play 13 matches in the next 43 days. Everyone is going to do this. Everyone, yeah. Not well, yeah. everybody, no, but the, the guys who are uh, yeah, European, yeah. Uh, so that's pretty much a match every three days. Um, in that same period, how many proper training sessions, tactical sessions, you think you're going to be few. able to have? Few, few, few. If recovery, be ready. Try to rotate as much as possible the, the players, everybody involved. Everybody's going to play the next games. <coughs> everyone has been both minutes. Someone more than the other ones, but everyone is going to play. You said few sessions. So th how does that change the impact of a manager in that period? Since I am manager, I was a bit like that. 11, 12 years ago, we start. Never see this game, so it's not a surprise, it's not news. So adapt, adjust, recover well, physios, eyes and uh, in the legs, and uh, train specific what you need, what you believe you have to improve for a few times. Hi, Pat. Um, on the game itself, You've had a fair few Manchester derbies now. How does it compare to previous games at Barcelona and Real Madrid, Bayern versus Dortmund? How does the Manchester derby specifically compare? How is it different? What makes it special? In, in, in Spain, Barcelona, Madrid, but in Barcelona, more noisy. The days before, the day after, it's more, more media, more everything. The rest in Germany here, perfect. You can work, people expecting, enjoy to watch the derby. And that's all.
And is it different for you as a manager, this game, this fixture? Do you feel different? Not much. Yeah, of course, it's important. It's a derby of uh, the big rival in the city, in the city and and uh, yeah, but try to to figure out what they're going to do, what what we can do to to beat them. So, no more than that. And in these kind of games, you don't have to make an extra motion or extra because it's where it is. Everybody knows it. The stadium will be full, and they will support us behind us and. And of course, they know we're going to do our best. I'm looking forward, anyway. And, and finally, with John Stones out, I guess that means there's probably a role for for a Kanji on on Sunday. How impressed have you been with him? Are you surprised at how quickly he's adapted to life in the Premier League with City? Well, I played really well since he arrived. We cannot deny that. Uh, he knows. He has all the skills that we need. And especially professional, a serious, intelligent person. So it's well prepared here. And uh, yeah, it's another option that uh, that we have. And, and for this is a long, long season. Hi, Pep. Um, Hi. Oh, sorry. Hi, Pep. Um, how, how is Calvin Phillips? Did he have to have the operation? He's much, he's still good. Well, the surgery was really good, and he has almost all. Yes, I spoke with him. The mobility is getting getting better. Yeah, it's really good. He he took uh, the right decision. Otherwise, he couldn't move forward. Every training session, every two times, three times, out, out. And uh, yeah, now we solve this problem. And as soon as it's ready, come back. Hopefully, can get in time to go to the World Cup. And when after World Cup, come back with us. Thank you. Hi Pep, um, I know you said John Stones will be back when he's back, but does it look like a long-term injury? Is it a, a short? No, well, I think it will not be four, five, six weeks. It will be less. Yeah. So the Normally, pain. hamstring can be between four, six weeks. I don't know. I said to Melissa, I don't know when I'm going to come back, but he's she, he's going back. But I think maybe two weeks, ten days, two weeks, hopefully. And in terms of um, Rick, is he available to start? Do you think this weekend, or will the derby come a oh. little bit too? Emmerich, Laporte, do you think? Uh, well, a long time is injured. But the important is uh, what we're seeing in the in the training session. He's he moving well and uh, his ability with the pass is exceptional. So yeah, it's it's, another, it's important to come back for this crazy schedule that everybody has. Have another another player. It's so important, and for him as well. For you know to come back. Hi, Pep. Yeah. Uh, for you in football, what would you say is the importance of having a good rival? Yeah, as much as you are on top, you have more rivals. Yeah, normally when you are in the middle, you have fewer rivals. As much as you are on the top, you have more. But they having, increase. Having a big rival uh, playing well, do you think that's important for yourself? Yeah, of course. Big rivals make you better. Of course, we have to do a perfect game tomorrow. They punish you for nothing. They have a quality in the short spaces, up front. All of them have a mobility, speed, physicality in the middle, uh, a quality in the middle with Ericsson, Bruno, Fernandez, and of course physicality with McTominay, Casimiro. You know, central defenders so aggressive, uh, good pace outside. So, yeah, it's a, Man United always have been like that. So here in Old Trafford, we were. Much better than Eddie had in these many years, last year. So, but in the same time, so as I said I'm looking forward, and I think we are prepared to face them. Hi, but um, Kevin De Bruyne has said that for a lot of people in football, it's about um, negativity and fear. But playing under you, it's about extreme positivity. <laughs> uh, what do you say to players before big games like this one? Nothing this big game feel. There is a plan for the way they attack, for the way they defend, you have to adjust. And and that's all. And always I believe is a this is a a big opportunity, our job, football, to express our our or the skills the players they have in front of the thousand million people and we have to do it for them. And the best way is they be yourself and Try to what you are as a football player. Show every day as much as possible. Uh, don't be a scare. 
be up front and, and try to, you know, play good. And if you do it, the consequences will be points, points, and victories, and victories. So I prefer to be active than reactive. And, and the teams always have been. I've been as a football player and especially as a manager. Always have been like this and always will be like that. There's a lot of history between the clubs, uh, especially one incident uh, between uh, Arling's father, Alfie, and Roy Keane uh, back in 2003. Uh, is there anything different with these big matches that you can sense in the players? It's a long time ago, an accident happened, everyone for the win, there's no friends there, and try to, to beat them. So. Sometimes, not necessarily to be a derby, to this, sometimes this kind of situation happen, can happen in the training session, sometimes. So, football is feelings, emotions, and sometimes it happens, but that's yeah, a long time ago. Is that, the, is that the most important thing about derbies, just the players remaining calm and keeping, the, keeping their heads? No, I don't know. We cannot be lazy in this type of games, neither. Uh, I would say that... Uh, mm. What you need sometimes to be the expressed emotions and feelings, the game from itself, give it to you. So it's not necessary, of course, we're going to talk how important it is. But, uh, it, yeah, I think what here is more decisions before you act, the decisions are being made for your brain, it's always much better. And be calm and take the right decisions. But to take the right decision, you have to be calm. If you are anxious, it's difficult to take the right ones. And in these important games, the external situation to give you the extra sometimes you need, you know, to play in different games. You, um, over the last couple of months, you've seen more enthusiastic about the atmosphere inside the Etihad. Are there any reasons you put that down to? I would say they are proud of uh, these guys. So they have given to them, for for all of us, the guy, the people who love Man City. So these players give many years, many good things, many good moments, many, of course, titles, but to get the titles have to be good performance, and they, they produce many of these since I think we are together, so that's why the people is, I think, can go to the stadium with, a, okay, put us pressure, uh, it's important that they, they, we can feel the pressure of them, especially in the opponent as well, and, and demand the best of ourselves, we need it, so always I want tomorrow they are active, they are they come to enjoy, to be passionate. The after tomorrow, it's not just okay, a football game and and the men is the best of ourselves. Otherwise, against these opponents, it's difficult to win. Um, last season in the Champions League knockouts, you brought Kyle and John back uh, from injuries. You said it was worth the risk to play them. Is the derby something where you could bring Ime straight in? Is that one of those games, or is it too uh, It's games? completely different, and the problem we had is that we didn't have another option in that moment, so uh, Kai was injured in the first game against Madrid, they joined just 20 minutes, and had Fernandinho help us a lot to play as a fullback, so it's a different situation. So if I decide, we decide to play with Amis, not a problem, we do it, but now we don't have this urgency because we have alternative with uh, with Ruben, with uh, Manu, with, uh, with Nathan, so... But it's important, he's back, it's really, really important. And do you feel a need to be kind of more aggressive in this first half of the season, given that you don't know how things are going to be after the World Cup? And our performance? Yeah. And the way we play? Yeah. yeah. No, no, we, we, and listen, we, of course we talk six in six weeks, we have the World Cup, you have the World Cup, and one injury in that period will be difficult, we risk, you know, that's why you have to be focused in every, do you do in your life, on and off the pitch? Um, but we, we don't plan absolutely anything differently. Uh, so with the next game, we try to do it because I don't know what's going to happen in World Cup. Nobody knows it. We talk about the days off. We have the staff and players don't go to World Cup when we come back and the trainings we'll do. And after, it depends of group stage, quarter, quarterfinals, semifinals, final. Uh, the, the players will come back and after that we'll see how they feel here, legs, tired, not tired. In the first game we're going to play, Carabao Cup or Leeds away, we're going to 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 see the selection and step by step. It's, I don't think it's nobody knows it's going to happen after World Cup. Yeah, hi, um, there was a, a bit of talk earlier in the season about 
the size of Lisandro Martinez when he signed for United as a centre half in the Premier League. Um, he could be up against Erling Haaland on Sunday. How do you see that matchup going in Lee Abbey's hands, do you think? But Erling is taller. That's for sure. But um, uh, I like when the people underestimate the football player just for the size, you know, he can tell them I'm here, I'm a good player, I can play everywhere. So he's a fantastic player, incredible build up foot, good mentality, aggressive. And you see his behaviors. So if United spend this money for him, it's because Eric, of course, know him from, from my experience. And there's no doubt about, about that. So it's not the first time, I think, um, he played against the strikers like they are taller than him. In Holland, I'm pretty sure there are strikers, you know, the big ones, and he handled it. So, important is intelligent, be brave, and, and do it. But, of course, in the box, the crosses in that position, Erling is taller. Yeah, that, that's right. So, we'll see what happens.